Great honor and an incredible pleasure for me to announce that St. Louis will be the 28th team in Major League Soccer. Congratulations. Rewind to August 20th, 2019. It all kicked off with an announcement from MLS Commissioner Don Garber. St. Louis gets its soccer team. And then fast forward to tonight. We are just over two days, about 48 hours away from soccer's big premiere at City Park in downtown West. It's exciting. We're getting close. And tonight, News 4 is getting a behind-the-scenes look inside the stadium to check out the preparations for the first match. Our Alexis Zotos took a tour. Alexis, fans can still, though, expect to see some construction later this week. That's right. First, you know, I want to point out the stadium. You can see it is lit up. It looks beautiful. It is ready to welcome the fans. But if you take a look over this way, you can still see that there's some sidewalks. There's some roads around market here that are going to still be a little tore up and they want fans to realize that as they're coming down. But the real experience is going to be walking up these stairs, walking into that stadium. And if you are, you want to make sure your phone is charged because the app is going to be the key to the state of the art fan experience. Take a look at some of this video from our tour today of the more than $450 million stadium that is ready for its big debut, ready to welcome fans for that first international friendly between St. Louis City 2 and Bayer Leverkusen. That is going to take place Wednesday at 7 o'clock, but the fan experience starts even earlier, and it is all really top of the line state of the art according to this team one of the great th features here is that we want to be the first of the new not last of the old so part of what that's all about is that the mobile phone or, or, or our smartphone is going to play a huge role so it's ticketless it's cashless and it's frictionless so the idea is that, that you'll come in with your app the tickets going to be preloaded you'll scan your way in then you'll be able to use that same app for food all right, so what about parking? That's a big question. People want to know if they're coming downtown for this match. The parking garage that is being built is still under construction, but the team tells me there's a lot of surface lots around this stadium. Metrolink is close by, and that is a great option for fans to get here. If you're thinking, wait, I want to come to that game, well, you're in luck. There are still a few tickets left. They range between $42 and $50. Coming up all new at 10 o'clock tonight, we're taking you inside that fan experience what exactly fans can expect even before that first match that's coming up tonight. Reporting live in downtown, Alexis Zotos, News 4. And looking at the forecast, the soccer scarves are going to be popular on Wednesday. They definitely <laughs> are. All right, Alexis, thank you. Anytime.